Hey guys, welcome back to DCS World. I'm Spud Knocker, and today we're going to go over some features of the targeting pod as it's implemented on the AV8B Night Attack Carrier 2 that we have here in DCS World. Back when it was designed in the late 1970s and implemented in the early 80s and used through the Gulf War and up to today, the Hughes, now Raython, ARBS angle rate bombing system was quite the innovation and was really advanced for its day. But here in 2018, it's definitely showing its age and we can do better than the angle rate bombing system. Now, many people don't realize that you can actually use the targeting pod in the carrier in the same way that you would use the uh, ARB system that is imp implemented directly into the Harrier's architecture. Now, it's a little bit more clumsy than the uh, DMT in the ARBs because it's not slaved to your castle switch on your stick. So it just requires a little bit more shuffling with your hands. So uh, we're in a VMA 223 carrier here, and we are TDY to Creech Air Force Base to take advantage of the expansive NTTR ranges and to show you guys how to use the targeting pod with dumb weapons. So, first thing we'll do is we'll head over to the menu, go over to T pod leave it to our TDC. We'll leave it in standby for now. And since we're in range uh, territory, we'll go ahead and flip our weapon systems to on. Our master arm is set to arm. We're going to put our quantity up to two. We're going to leave that guy in CCIP. Arm our weapons with the nose and tail. Whoops, uh, my mistake, meant to hit the Mark 82s. So I'll throw these guys in the nose and tail. CCIP, quantity of two. We'll probably take this guy out of standby mode now. Because we're in the daytime, I like to use the uh, TV rather than the FLIR setting on the targeting pod. And I like to pre-zoom it to about number three as that gives a good zoom that's uh, better than the uh, native zoom of the ARB system in the Harrier. And once we get closer to our waypoint out here, we'll tell our wingman to attack his primary target. So we've got a couple targets set up for us out by the mock airfield out here. And the first target we're going to attack is a decommissioned F-4 Phantom that is out there on the runway. So that's what we'll be looking for with our targeting pod. And um, our wingmen will be bombing some Mi-8 helicopters, hopefully, with uh, some laser-guided bombs as we're working on trucks and other infrastructure surrounding our mock airport. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and have him do his thing. All right, we'll flip her out of autopilot. Looks like we got everything set. Give ourselves a little bit more room here. Now, in a lot of videos that I see, I see people being way up high using their targeting pod, and that's usually because they're using laser-guided weapons, and which makes sense. You want to give yourself some room. But, for what we're doing, we actually don't really need to be way down low. Go ahead and throw that into laser just in case. So we'll go ahead and start heading towards our target out here. Got a few RWR contacts. We got a couple of search radars at the airfield. 
And you can see our targeting pod there. Line it up with the runway. Try and slew it. Let's try that again. There we go, there's our F4 we want to bomb. And so now we have a really good uh, mark point on our target there that we can then bomb. And that's a direct hit on that F4. So we'll go ahead and hit our paddle and disconnect our target pod from that target. So it looks like our wingman hit one of those MI-8 helicopters. Since those are his primary, we're going to go ahead and go after a couple of the trucks in the nearby area. So you notice that I used CCIP mode. Um, I find that that's the easiest to drop weapons on your targeting marked on your HUD by your targeting pod. You can fly an automatic mode approach on the mark point with dumb bombs, just like you would in the same manner as you would with uh, LGB. However, I find that to be rather inaccurate as you have to fly extremely precisely to get the bombs to drop in the correct place and hit your target. Which is not to say that you can't do it, I just find it very difficult. So now that my wingman is off, we'll go ahead and roll in. Red smoke, there we go. Boom, there he goes. So we'll slew this guy over to this poor unsuspecting truck. Why don't we zoom in a little bit, make sure our targeting solution is really good. You want to place your target right on the base of the truck and that way you don't overshoot the target. So if you drop your weapons right when your CCIP sight is on the middle dot, you should hit the truck right where it's pointed. If you point it at the top of the truck, you may miss long. That looks like a good hit to me. Yep, I'm pretty sure we killed him. Now a good reason to use a targeting pod over your standard ARBs is that your ARB system has a very small field of view. Your lantern targeting pod can pretty much see behind you, in front of you, to the side of you, kind of all over the place. Whoops. So we'll zoom this guy back out go after this poor unsuspecting truck. So as you can see, I'm lining up targeting and targeting solutions, even for dumb bombs, at a 90 degree and even more acute 
or obtuse, however you measure it, angle as I'm flying away from the target, setting up my next bombing run. So that is a major advantage of the targeting pod over your ARB system. And as you can see, when we dip our wing there, our TV camera is obscured by our wing or by the gun pods that are on either side of the targeting pod on our center line. You can see on my stores page here that our targeting pod is in fact on our center line. So we'll wait for our wingman to come off his target. And as you can see, when we straighten out the wings, you can see our target. So now that our wingman is off, we can go ahead and roll in. Got plenty of fuel for our demonstration here. I think that's a good hit. A downside of the ARB system, there are a few as you can see, is that that limited zoom means you have to be rather close to your target to be operating the system and finding your targets with the system. And that may be fine if you're going after a large target, like a hangar or, I don't know, an oil uh, facility, storage facility. But if you're going after a little truck, like we're doing here, it makes it a little bit more difficult. We'll switch over to our loud tens. man's running in again. And as you'll see, you can, of course, use this method for engaging with rockets. There's nothing that says you can't. So we'll go ahead and zoom this guy out. And as you can see, we're taking advantage of the fact that we can slew our targeting pod. Ooh, that was cool. We can slew our targeting pod. Even when we are not pointed at the target. Which helps you stay out of range of air defenses or any other kind of nastiness you don't want to get caught up in. Go ahead and point our nose down. And we'll start our attack run.
we, yep, we caught him on fire, so he's gonna explode. Get our paddle switch. Put this guy back to standby mode. Take it off our TDC. And we go back to our EW page or whatever you need to do in order to fly back home. Alrighty, so thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the video. And if, as you've probably noticed, I have monetized my videos and that's just to help me make a little bit of income to make as good of videos as I can for you guys, uh, help keep my hardware up to date, as well as being able to purchase new modules to make videos on. So thanks a lot guys and fly safe.